How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to truly customize your iPhone home screen in iOS 14. And no, this is not a wallpaper, this is not a still image, no, this is working, this is my home page as you guys can see right here running iOS 14. And I just added those awesome icons, uh, those awesome images, some very, very cool minimal images and all of them work. So if you tap on any of those, uh, it's going to open the respective icon just as you would expect. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can do that, how you can do this and actually any design that you want, change your icons. You can have the name, the name of the icon under it or not. If you want to have this super clean, minimal design like I do, it's up to you. I truly love it. And of course, it's 100% free. So um, without further ado, let me show you how you can do that. So uh, we're going to use Siri shortcuts for this. So we're going to use this application shortcuts to actually create those actions. Because what we're doing here is it's kind of a workaround. So if I tap on the settings app, as you guys can see, it's going to open shortcuts for like half a second and then open the settings app. So this is the action. This is the shortcut we're creating, the workaround. Same story with music, open the shortcuts and then music app, phone, whatever. As I said, all of those work. Everything here is working, is fully functional. And if I open weather, whatever, it's fully functional, but it's using that Siri shortcut because unfortunately, iOS 14 won't let us actually change the icon. But we can do this, which is pretty much the same thing, right? So let me actually show you how you can do that step by step. So first thing you're going to need to do is actually open up shortcuts. Okay, so we're going to up series shortcuts and then we're going to go ahead and tap on add right here at the top right hand corner and then add action. Then right here at the top, we're going to search for apps and actions. And the action that we want is actually open app. So open space app. So that's the action that we want because we want to create an action that we will enable us to tap on a button and then it's going to open an app right that's what we want so open app and then which app do we want i'm going to i'm going to put reminders uh for this video sake okay so uh i don't have reminders just yet so reminders so as soon as i tap on that shortcut it's going to open reminders right so we're going to tap on the three dots here i'm going to tap on it again so the three dots right here uh and then as soon as we tap on that we're going to tap on add to home screen Okay, and then here we can actually choose the name. So if we want, we can choose a name. If not, we just leave it blank, like I left all of mine. So I'm going to leave it blank. And then you can tap on the icon and then choose a photo. So that's the tricky part. That's the, the magical bit piece. So uh, if we want to choose a photo, we can actually select any photo that we want. Uh, like a like I uh, since I previously downloaded a PNG file, sometimes they are like this, kind of broken. But when we tap on them, they actually work. Okay, and I'm gonna show you my favorite site to download those PNG as well. Let me first find my reminder app icon. Okay, now that I found it, I can hit choose, and then it's gonna look like this. I can hit add, and then it's done. I can go back, and here we have it. So I can move it to my actual uh, first screen, right? The one we were using. So I'm going to put it here, for example, and then there we have it. Like the reminders app is pretty much the only one that, lo that doesn't look so cool. But again, the those are my icons. You can choose any icon that you want. So then, of course, as soon as you tap on reminders, it's going to open that up just like the other uh, apps that I just showed you. Now, let me show you my favorite website where I downloaded all those icons for free. And that's the website I recommend you to do this. So you're going to open up Safari and you're going to go ahead and tap on icons. It's going to be icons8.com. So icons8.com. And uh, it's very, very, very cool, actually. You can search for absolutely anything. So let's suppose you're looking for the camera app icon. So you're going to put camera app, right, as you would expect, and then search. If we tap on search, it's going to search for a ton of stuff, as you guys can see here. And some of those are not really what you want. So what I recommend is you go to the filters right here at the top right-hand corner. So you tap on the filters, and then you can choose absolutely anything everything that you want. I I put iOS on mine and then iOS again on mine. Um, and then it's going to show those camera app icons in iOS style, as you guys can see right here. So then I have a ton of camera apps 
um, uh, camera icons just like I, I put on mine. So as you guys can see, I chose this one right here. And then it's a matter of downloading and you gotta register, but again, that's free. Just like an email and a password, uh, you register and then you can download it 100% free. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, a ton of people are gonna ask me why I didn't show widget customization and that's because as the uh, as of the recording of this video so september the 25th we're having a ton of issues with widget compatibility so third-party widgets are not working all that well uh, i have tested two of those like those two apps right here to just open and crash open and crash so they don't work so in a ton of people are saying they're not working for them so there's no point recording a video about something that is not working 100 percent for everyone so i just don't do that so in this video i'm going to stick to app customization okay in the home screen custom apps and then later later on when we have more stable widget customization options i'm going to record another separate video right so that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did if you did like this look this very cool minimalist look uh special different that no one will have here's how you can add custom icons how you can customize your ios home screen your ios home page in your iphone in ios 14 for free so that's pretty much it if you like this video hit the like button down below subscribe button down below as well and the little bell icon to get notified and also hit the comment box down below if it worked for you if you have any suggestions anything new i would love to answer to everybody so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few days bye bye